This video is about momentum and impulse. Momentum is equal to mass times velocity. We measure momentum in kilogram meters per second or newton seconds. They are they're the same thing. You can think of momentum as how hard it is to stop an object. So how much momentum an object's got is a measure of how hard it is to stop. Impulse is the change in momentum. So here we've got two questions about impulse and we're going to have a look at these examples. So a particle P of mass 2 kilograms, so mass is 2, is travelling at 2 metres per second. So the initial velocity is 2. A force is applied to P and it's now travelling at 5 metres per second. So V is 5 in the same direction. That's important because it, if it was in a different direction, it would be negative 5. Find the magnitude. So where it says magnitude, if we get a negative answer, we're going to ignore it because we only care about the size of the number. We don't care about the direction. So we just care about what number it is so that the modulus, we don't care whether it's positive or negative, we just want to know the number. Find the magnitude of the impulse exerted on P. So impulse equals MV, so two fives minus MU, two twos, so 10 take away four, and that'll be six Newton seconds. A particle Q of mass five kilograms, so mass is five this time, is traveling at two meters per second. That's the initial velocity. A force is applied, and now it's traveling at three meters per second in the opposite direction. So the V is negative three. It's changed direction. Find the magnitude of the impulse exerted on Q. So impulse equals MV, so five negative threes, minus MU, five twos. So we've got negative 15, take away 10, which is negative 25. But we only care about the magnitude, we don't care about direction. So we can say the impulse, the magnitude of the impulse is 25 Newton seconds. Okay, here are two more questions. Pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready to go through the answers. Okay, question one. So we've got mass of five, so m is five, traveling at four meters per second, so u is four, a force is applied, and it's now traveling at seven meters per second, so v is seven, in the same direction, so same sign, find the magnitude of the impulse exerted on P. So impulse is MV minus MU. So that's 35 minus 20, which is 15 Newton seconds. Okay, question two. So we've got M is four this time. U is four. The force is applied and it's now traveling at three meters per second in the opposite direction. So it's changed direction. So V is negative three. Find the magnitude of the impulse exerted on Q. So we've got MV minus MU. So negative 12 minus 16 will be negative 28. We only care about the magnitude. So we don't, we're gonna ignore the negative and we're going to say the impulse is 28 newton seconds.